Listening to the GHT Overland Podcast. Welcome and thank you for joining us. This is where you get the greatest interviews and insights from overland travelers around the globe. We are sharing the stories and experiences of overlanders around the world, from the chilly peaks of Alaska to the warm beaches of South Africa. You will learn the basics to the advanced in overlanding, so buckle up and get ready for a new adventure. I'm Chris. And I'm Lisa. This episode could possibly save your life. After talking to Travis with Yeti Embo back in June, we've taken his advice to heart on having some kind of insurance or medical evac coverage. So, after several months of research, we narrowed it down to the guest we're going to talk to today. We are truly humbled by the time and obvious dedication Global Rescue has for the overlanding community. How would you like to have a team of critical care paramedics, physicians, nurses, and military special operation veterans available to help you? How about help in translation during a medical emergency? or help getting a stolen passport replaced. I'm extremely excited to get into this one. I say we jump into the interview you did with Dan Richards with Global Rescue. Okay. Today, we are humbled to have Dan Richards join us from Global Rescue. Dan is the CEO of Global Rescue, a company he founded in 2004. Dan also serves as the president of Crisis Services Company in Vermont and serves on the board for Global Wildlife Conservation, a science-based environmental conservation organization. Overlanding with a reasonable grip on reality and safety is and should be top of mind for everyone. So having Dan join us today to cover this topic is really the partner in crime for your tenacity to tackle overland adventure, regardless of your location, from the backwoods of Oregon to Zimbabwe. So, as everyone is preparing for buying gear and we go through the gift-giving season, think about your priorities. Think about what others, possibly your parents, are wanting to give you. Instead of mom picking out traction mats and camera gear, How about the vital services we're about to discuss with Dan? So, without further ado, welcome to the podcast, Dan. Thanks for having me, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. We are humbled that you've taken the time, so thank you. If you would, fill us in on any blanks I may have left out in your introduction, and give us a little background on yourself. Well, um, I think you did a pretty good job of introducing me. Um, I uh, am a guy that loves the outdoors and loves to get out there, whether I'm skiing or hiking or biking or doing whatever. And um, I'm fortunate to work for a company that uh, solves the problems that some of us encounter when we are getting out there and when we're sometimes very far from home or in a foreign country and, um, and the worst happens. So It's a real pleasure to be able to help people in their moment of need, and that's really what our company is designed to do. Okay, that's awesome. So let's get started with getting kind of that 30,000-foot view of Global Rescue and why Global Rescue is relevant for overlanders. Well, if you do like to get out there, uh, whether it be into the backcountry in your home country or into a, a foreign country, Uh, Obviously, you're going outside of your safety net and um, the familiarity and the support and resources that you have close to home uh, aren't necessarily and and in fact generally are not available to folks when they're when they're way out there. And so what do you do Um, in the United States? You can call 911. Um, Sometimes those services uh, cost you nothing. Sometimes they can cost tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars. But if you're in a foreign country, there are plenty of foreign countries out there that actually don't even have a 911 equivalent. Um, so if you have something happen to you, and it could be of a medical nature or of a security nature, or if you're just trying to do some research about where you're going and uh, trying to get some on-the-ground intelligence about what you might encounter there, uh, you need the resources to be able to deal with those situations effectively. 
And uh, we have two parts to our service. One is an advisory and consultative component where if you're planning on going somewhere, you can use the resources that our intelligence analysts uh, publish. We actually publish on 215 countries and principalities around the world oh, and wow. cover health, health, safety, security, uh, medical, and other kinds of topics. Um, so you can do some research in advance so that you can prepare yourself for what you might encounter. And then when you actually go and are um, engaging in whatever activity it is that you uh, are going to do in these places, um, if the worst does happen, we actually are a uh, essentially a 911 service that will uh, deploy uh, personnel, resources, and assets to your point of injury or illness or, or distress, wherever you might happen to be in the world, um, get you to uh, a location where we can stabilize and support you, and then ultimately... Uh, once that happens, bring you back uh, to your home country. Sometimes if you're hospitalized to your home country hospital of choice, sometimes it's just your uh, home of record. But uh, essentially, it's a worldwide rescue service that um, will come and get you anywhere uh, that you need it. Okay, sounds great. Now, is Global Rescue going to be as relevant for our listeners um, only over landing in the U.S. as it would be for those that are traveling globally? Well, amazingly, uh, you know, our, our service starts anywhere more than 100 miles from home. So okay. if you're more than 100 miles from home, you can call us and access the service. A lot of what we do is consultative in nature because we've got paramedics, nurses, and doctors on staff um, at Global Rescue, plus a partnership with Johns Hopkins Medicine, which has been one of the best hospitals uh, in this country for the last 25 years or so. So people call us with all kinds of interesting medical issues that actually don't rise to the need of, uh, of a rescue or an evacuation. So... Uh, we want people to continue on their trips and continue on their adventures. And uh, if you catch things early and get the right advice early, then many times it doesn't rise to the need of an evacuation and people get better and they keep going. So I okay. think we're just as relevant in North America and in, in the United States as we are internationally. Uh, interestingly, we do about a third of our evacs um, from North America. So uh, while the 911 resources in the United States are very well developed, uh, you could end up in a hospital somewhere that's hundreds or thousands of miles from your home and undergoing surgery and recovery and those sorts of um, things far, far from home um, is not necessarily the best thing. So we'll bring you home so that you can have surgery and be treated by your, your doctors in your, uh, you know, in your hometown. Nice. Okay. That sounds great. Now, in a medical emergency, can you provide some detail on what the benefits are in having a membership with Global Rescue? And are those benefits going to be the same if I'm in the backcountry of the U.S., India, or Namibia? Yeah, they're exactly the same. So okay. um, for, for starters, as I mentioned, we provide these advisory services. So um, if you're unable to dial 911, um, then uh, you can call us. And we recommend even if you can dial 911, you call us right after. Um, the folks that answer our phones and our operation centers are, um, are medically trained. So paramedics and nurses, they can give you. Uh, literally life-saving advice on that first phone call uh, within seconds of your call. So if somebody has a traumatic injury in front of you, you need to figure out how to stop the bleeding. Uh, somebody looks like they're having a heart attack or a stroke. Uh, we can advise you in real time regarding what to do. And th that can be invaluable um, either for the caller or for the person that the caller is trying to help. Um, the next step obviously is getting assistance and support um, and assets to that location. And uh, we also have a very well-developed capability to do that, whether you're in the United States um, or in uh, a very remote environment, like uh, the Himalaya is a good example. We do more rescues in the Himalaya probably than all other companies um, combined. Okay. So we have the ability to get those critical elements to you and, um, and to provide that support, regardless of whether or not you're in the United States or you happen to be you know, in India or or, the, or in the Himalaya or, you know, in South America um, somewhere. And then we can also help you, uh, you know, use the resources that you have at hand. So you may have packed and been very well uh, prepared prior to your trip. And uh, but you may not be an expert in using, um, you know, God forbid you need to call and have somebody walk you through how to use an AED or a tourniquet or whatever. But we, you know, we have the ability to do that in, again in real time, which can be invaluable and life saving. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. So how do we contact you? If I'm outside of cell phone range, I'm guessing either a sat phone, um, I don't know, a Garmin inReach or a spot are going to be the best ways to activate Global Rescue. But correct me if I'm wrong, and how should I pre-plan for being able to contact Global Rescue? 
Well, we always recommend that people take uh, a satellite communication device if they're going to be off the grid and outside of cell phone range with extra batteries and the ability to recharge those batteries as needed. So we think sat phones are the, the best solution because you can interact and talk in real time. Uh, the next best, obviously, are the satellite texting devices that have become popular. And, um, you know, we recommend those as well. But uh, there really is no uh, substitute for a sat phone with well-charged batteries and, and plenty of minutes. So okay. that's our strong, strong recommendation to our members. Okay, very good. And what about other services like Visa and passport services? How do you work and what happens if I lose my passport? How is Global Rescue or will Global Rescue be able to help me? So we offer a whole range of uh, travel. We call them travel assistance services where folks who have their passports lost or stolen, um, people who you know lose their eyeglasses or lose their medication or you know, have their flights canceled and get stranded somewhere. Um, so, uh, you know, at the sort of minor end of things, all the way up to the most severe security events where, let's say you're in Egypt during the Arab Spring, um, where we evacuated hundreds of Americans during those events. Um, so we have the ability to help, um, you know, from for people with the mi- from the minor to, you know, the very major events. So we've got great relationships with uh, with our embassies. We interact with them around the world. Uh, almost daily. And um, we have the ability to help people um, get those replacement documents. You know, we can instruct them regarding what to do next. A lot of times people don't even know, well, where should I go? Who should I call? Um, you know, my passport's gone. Am I going to be stuck here for, you know, the next month uh, or not? And um, we, we walk them through the process regarding how to get the replacement documents. And in some cases, we facilitate the replacement of those uh, critical documents when they do lose them. Okay. And can you give me an example of getting that passport replaced if somebody steals it, I lose it somehow? Um, is that something I'm going to have to fly back to the States to get? Or are the services with Global Rescue going to avoid having to do that? Well, it, it all depends on the individual circumstances. In most cases, you're not going to have to fly back to the United States in order to get it replaced. Um, you can get a, a temporary documentation typically from our embassies around the world. Um, either uh, either from those embassies directly, or we can have them brought to you. But typically, you're not going to have to fly back uh, to the United States. In fact, in many cases, if you're in a foreign country, you're, you're not going to be able to, to travel at all. You're not going to be able to leave the country that you're in or enter another foreign country or the U.S. without proper documentation. So okay. um, we, work, we work with our members and our embassies around the world to make sure that people get the proper documentation. Because as you can imagine, you know, this, this kind of thing happens all the time. Um, people have their documents either stolen or they're destroyed or yeah. they're lost. You know, they're lost. Um, so um, it's something that our, that our embassies are very familiar with dealing with. Okay, very good. Any additional services like translation? Specifically, what I'm thinking is for medical. So if I'm in need of medical help and having problems communicating with the local doctors and nurses, um, let's say somewhere in Central Asia, how will Global Rescue be able to help in that? Yeah, so during um, the course of any kind of interaction with Global Rescue, if you happen to be in a foreign country, and you're dealing with non-English speakers, um, we have the ability to provide language assistance in over 200 languages, um, many of which are actually resident within our operation center. So you can get us on the phone, put us on speakerphone, and we can interact with the nurses, doctors, um, excuse me, and other folks that, uh, that you might be encountering in these foreign locations. Um, we also have the ability through our mobile app to do um, real-time uh, text conversations with you and with foreigners. And uh, at some point uh, in the next uh, uh, quarter or two, we're actually going to be, be releasing some language support for that mobile app that will allow you to have real-time translation, both for text um, and, uh, and for conversations. Um, so there's a lot of functionality, actually, that comes through the connection um, of our mobile application to our operation centers, including being able to, to keep track of the people you care about and yourself and have Global Rescue track your location through that mobile application, regardless of where you happen to be in the world. Okay, cool. That sounds really good. So how about assisting with payments? I'm not sure if that's a service that you provide or not. We recently talked with a couple who faced this challenge with the hospital expecting a cash payment at two in the morning before they would do surgery. Um, They did not understand or trust the letter of guarantee from their insurance provider. So this obviously created a lot of extra stress during an already unmanageable time of stress. Is Global Rescue going to be able to help in this situation? Absolutely. 
provided we get a guarantee of payment uh, and payment from our member, um, we have the ability to provide uh, cash on the barrelhead, as it's sometimes uh, called and required in, uh, in these foreign clinics and hospitals, because you're right, in many instances, they require cash prior to providing services, and that can be enormously stressful um, and, and, you know, be, um, you know, and make a, a bad situation uh, even worse for a lot of folks. So at two o'clock in the morning, obviously, uh, it's it's hard for uh, any um, anybody to respond in that situation. But usually, yeah. uh, certainly during business hours, um, we have the ability to uh, to provide cash for folks. Um, and we have the ability to de- actually deploy bedside. So in many instances, if our member is in a hospital somewhere and they're about to get operated on or they're uh, simply admitted as an inpatient, we actually deploy our own medical personnel to these locations to oversee and manage their care. So rather than having the the, the patient or the victim having to manage uh, the whole uh, environment, we actually have our own medical personnel who are overseeing it, working with uh, our physicians and the physicians at Johns Hopkins to make sure that the care that's being delivered is the right care and um, that the individual is um, is getting that care, you know, with the objective of getting them home as quickly as, as they can safely be transported. Okay. And do you offer a central place to go for researching the current level of safety in a specific location? You touched on, on that a little bit, but can we dive a little deeper on that one? Yeah, absolutely. We have a service that we call our, our grid intelligence service, and all members have the ability to log in either through our mobile app or uh, through the website. And as I said, we've, we cover 215 countries and principalities in real time, and they can pull down destination reports that are very detailed regarding the medical and health situation of the country, the security and safety situation in the country. There's basic information that you would want to know about visas and passports. Do you need a, need a visa? If so, how much does it cost? Um, and, and other information that would be very valuable um, for travelers. The, uh, the other thing that we can provide folks, depending on where they're going, is also um, essentially a, a consult regarding um, their itinerary and the destination that they're considering traveling to. So they can get the overview from our intelligence reports, but we can also do a much deeper dive um, and, and give them additional information if they give us a specific itinerary. Because, um, you know, for instance, there are, there are certain countries around the world where parts of the country may be very, very safe, and then other parts of the country um, are uh, very, very dangerous. So understanding the nuances and knowing uh, which regions are uh, safer than others is can be really important. And we help travelers figure that out in advance. Okay, that's great. Now, I'm sure most of our listeners are familiar with travel insurance. How is Global Rescue different from travel insurance? That's a great question. So uh, travel insurance protects your wallet and our membership is uh, something that actually protects your health and well-being. Uh, namely, we're the service provider, we're the folks that actually deploy and do the missions. Uh, perhaps one of the best ways to think of us is a little bit like AAA, but not for your car, for your body. Um, we'll, we'll come and get you and make sure that uh, that you get the medical and security support that you need and, and ultimately get you home. Um, we do offer travel insurance through a partner of ours. And, uh, you know, we think that travel insurance, particularly when you're spending um, a lot of money on the trip that you're planning on taking, can be uh, an invaluable resource. But it really protects your wallet. It doesn't necessarily protect your life. And Global Rescue is a service that uh, is all about protecting and saving lives. Okay. That's really helpful. Thank you. And any other examples of services that Global Rescue provides that will be beneficial for overland travelers? Well, you know, depending on how far you are from home and how happy you are with your healthcare, Global Rescue, about a year, a little over two years ago now, um, launched a, a service that we call Total Care. And Total Care is actually a service that you can use whether you're at home or you're traveling um, domestically or abroad. And what it is, is um, uh, real time consultations with uh, paramedics, nurses, and physicians, again, through our mobile application in high definition video. And audio, and we actually have the ability to offer uh, real-time prescriptions, uh, labs, and imaging, all without having to send someone to the emergency department. So if you're traveling in the United States, we have folks who are licensed in all 50 states plus the District of Columbia and have the ability to write prescriptions and order those labs and even get x-rays and MRIs, all without having to send somebody um, to the ED, which uh, that's, that's not great. a place That saves a lot of money, right? It absolutely saves, it can save a ton of money and a ton of time because anybody who's been to the ED 
pretty much anywhere recently knows that you sit there for a very, very long time <laughs> and it's very, very expensive. You know, yeah. ED visits can cost more than a thousand dollars. And, um, it's just, a it's, it's not usually a great way of treating things that are not necessarily emergent, um, uh, and, and that could be treated remotely. So that's a, a solution that we've come up with and uh, our members really like it. Okay, very good. So let's go through the cost of joining Global Rescue along with the different uh, coverages or plans that you offer, if you could, please. Sure. So our memberships are pretty affordable. They start at $119 for an individual for a week uh, for our travel um, medical only memberships. Um, if you are traveling more than once a year, we recommend that you become an annual member. Uh, that starts at $329 for an individual and $579 for a family. And families uh, cover um, two spouses and up to six dependents uh, under the age uh, of 26. So uh, if you have a big family, we can cover you. If you want to add security, which means that you are evacuated or rescued for reasons other than medical, so Arab Spring, uh, terrorist attack, natural disasters, events of those uh, types, then uh, that roughly doubles the price. So it would be about $650 for an individual, a little over $1,000 for a family. And then if you wanted to add total care, because uh, you're not real thrilled with your healthcare uh, situation at home or you want access to all those services when you're traveling in the 50 states, um, those memberships start at $275 for an individual. So there's a lot of different options depending on where it is that you're going, what you think your needs are, and, uh, and the environments that you might be entering. Okay. And that 275, is that an annual membership? Yes, it is for an individual for our, we call it our silver total care membership. It's, um, it's domestic, it's travel within the United States. Um, and, uh, and it provides those total care, those total care services with, uh, with an included consult as well. What other things should overlanders be mindful of whether they're using a service like global rescue or just being smart about these types of services when they're out traveling? Well, I tell you, there's there's no a, a good backup plan is um, is irreplaceable, and in the moment, having those resources available uh, timely can be the difference between life and death. Um, and perhaps even as importantly, having a service like ours and being prepared gives not only the traveler and the individual or, or, or folks who are traveling um, and overlanding peace of mind gives the people who care about those overlanders peace of mind as well. So I can't tell you the number of members who um, have their memberships, not because necessarily they're, they're worried, but it's because they're, you know, their husband or their wife is worried about them or their, or their kids are worried about them. Um, you know, we have a lot of people who buy global rescue memberships for the people they love and, um, you know, they want them to come back in one piece. And, uh, that's what we do. We, you know, where, where you travel is, uh, is up to you, but bringing you home, that's up to us. And, um, we make it happen. That's great. So how can people find out more about global rescue? What, um, where do they go? What links can we put on the show notes to make sure that it's easy for them to get to you, figure out what those memberships are and maybe even pass those on to loved ones that can get them a gift for the holidays that says your health is important to us. You're covered for the next year. Yeah. So our website is www.globalrescue.com. And uh, we also have an 800 number. It's 800-381-9754. You can call and talk to one of our uh, member services associates. They can guide you through based on what it is that your um, needs are, which membership is right for you. Uh, you can also do the research on our website. And, um, you know, we'd be happy to uh, answer any questions that any of your listeners have. Okay. We appreciate that. So let's wrap things up, Dan, with some fun facts about you. Do you play any musical instruments on the road or around the campfire at night? Boy, you know, I wish I played a musical (laughs) instrument. (laughs) My wife and I talk about this all the time. We both love music and neither of us are musically inclined. She she grew up uh, playing the piano. I grew up actually playing the saxophone, um, but I stopped doing it at, at such a young age. I don't own a saxophone, and if you gave me one, I wouldn't know how to play it. So <laughs> we love to listen to music, but we're just not good at playing. So uh, I, you know, maybe in the second half of my life, I'll, I'll get a chance to change that. I'm not sure. There you go. Yeah, life goals. So what's your favorite drink in the morning to get you going? Boy, I, you know, I love a protein shake in the morning. I, I'm not a caffeine guy. I don't drink coffee. Um, a protein shake really 
gets me going. And if I have the opportunity to, to match that with a, uh, a workout beforehand, then I'm a happy guy. Nice. And a favorite beverage at night to wind down after a long day on the road? Ooh, um, there's a lot of them. Uh, probably my favorite is a, uh, a you know, a, a, a beer. Um, and, um, you, you know, if I had to pick, I'd probably pick, uh, an Otter Creek copper ale. They're a great brewery in, in Middlebury, Vermont, and right on the Otter Creek, which is a nice source of fresh water, but uh, a nice copper ale at the end of the day is uh, a very nice way to unwind. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Anything else you'd like to share or useful resources our listeners should check out? There's a lot out there. Um, you know, we, I, my, uh, my personal recommendation is just read, uh, read the news, listen to the news, be aware of your surroundings, the greater the situational awareness you have, um, you know, before and during whatever it is that you're going out to do, um, the better prepared you'll likely be. And then if you have more questions about what's happening out there in the world, because you're reading about the place that you want to go in the news and you're concerned about it, um, call us and we're happy to talk to you about it. And uh, if you need a membership and want one, then we'd be happy to enroll you. That's terrific. We really appreciate your time today, Dan. It's been a lot of fun. So thank you for your time. We are grateful for the knowledge you've shared with us today. Safe travels and adventures to you. And maybe we'll catch up again sometime in the future. Thanks so much, Chris. Really appreciate it. Take care. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Power packed, I think is how I would sum that one up. Valuable education right from the source. What did you think, Lisa? So much valuable information. I almost couldn't, like I wanted to get a paper and pen and just start writing notes because it's, you don't want to forget this stuff. Yeah. I think Dan brought a lot of value. So super grateful um, that we actually got the CEO of the company to chat with us. So a big thank you to Dan Richards for taking your time. I know you're a busy man as well as Ann Shannon with Global Rescue for helping with all the logistics and setting up the interview and did a great job. And so we greatly appreciate um, all the, all the efforts that both of you made to make the interview happen. And as we went into the interview, one of the things that I was really thinking, this is a really good thing to put on your Christmas wish list. Now, after you're done laughing, think about that seriously. If mom is thinking about getting you something, your relatives, one of the things that we hear consistently, Lisa, is what? Their family, close friends, additional relatives immediately have the concern for their safety and welfare. Do you remember when we talked to the Vagabrods? What did Sonny say? Yes. Oh, Her mom was completely convinced that heads would be hanging from the bridges as soon as they crossed into Mexico. Now, if you're a seasoned overland traveler or seasoned traveler at all, you might be laughing once again. (laughs) But these are legitimate concerns that people have brought up and people that are not experienced in travel seriously think these things. Now, whether that's true or not, it's not, by the way, when you go to Mexico, it's There's no heads hanging from the bridges, as Sonny and Karen told us. However, things happen. There's an interview we have coming up that I'm excited for everybody to hear, and you're going to hear it firsthand from somebody that had all those worst-case scenarios come to fruition. Obviously not from choice, but you need to have the right resources available when those things happen. They will happen at the most unexpected time. They will happen at the most inconvenient time. And after talking to Dan, seriously, Global Rescue, is, are, those are the people you want to be able to call. They've got all the resources to be able to help you. Yeah. So, we really enjoyed the episode. We hope you did as well. Be sure to visit the show notes page for this one at ghtoverland.com slash podcasts. Select the Global Rescue episode. All the details and helpful links are there for you. Very true. Hey, drop us a note. We'd seriously love to hear from you. You can send us a DM on the socials or send your questions, suggestions, and feedback to ghtoverlandpodcast at gmail.com. 
If you have any Amazon Echo, remember, tell Alexa, play the GHD Overland podcast. For all the updated updates, follow us on the socials at GHD Overland. Get extra gold stars by sharing the episode with your friends. Ooh, I like gold stars. For good overlanding karma, send some love with a rating and review on iTunes. Ooh, I like good karma too. Overland travel is all about meeting new friends, doing good things for others, seeing the most amazing places on earth, and of course, new food and new drinks. Thank you, and we will see you next Thursday for a brand new episode of the GHT Overland Podcast. Bye.